Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and of course there is a thing that is called Pawn to Own which is a uh, hackers conference if you want and it, it is actually a place where uh, big tech companies want you to find security flaws and you get paid to find them so that they can actually find them and fix them and um, there's been, of course, a couple of hacks against Windows 11. So in the last day of the uh, Pond to Own conference, uh, well, it was found that there's a couple of things in Windows 11 that can be um, uh, hacked into. So, of course, security flaws that were not discovered before and that have been, uh, you know, put up in the spotlight. Of course, no details as to how it was done because this is kept for Microsoft, which means we're probably going to have, uh, unless they are very urgent, we're probably going to have some fix for that in the next patch Tuesday. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, uh, all Windows is always the one that gets hacked. Well, to give you an idea of how everything gets hacked, uh, in that pawn to hone, one of the things that was hacked is uh, Ubuntu distribution of Linux. So if you're using Ubuntu, uh, three separate security flaws. So that's kind of interesting. And of course, in the Pontu on, there was a Mac uh, security flaw. There were some iPhones and Android flaws. Um, you know, it shows you that the vulnerability of our systems with so many things that, you know, it, it'd be kind of interesting to see if we, you know, magically could show all the security flaws in every system of every device we own how it would be maybe scary, actually. Um, you know, it's all in the spirit of actually finding flaws. Look at old things like, um, you know, the uh, Spectre flaw and the, uh, and the, the uh, CPUs, the processors. This was, you know, unknown for years before it was actually discovered. And there are a lot of things like that that probably are, you know, uh, unknown. As to the software, um, you know, it could be device drivers, it could be uh, all sorts of software we use. The hardware uh, might have flaws in itself, in its design. The thing is, is that we always have to be at the forefront of these security flaws and fix them before the bad guys. You know, this is always the idea. Find them, fix them before the hackers and the bad guys actually find them for you and um, you know start exploiting them to uh, get into PCs get into your devices there's also an interesting uh, other part if you're using a device like a smartphone if you're using you know a smart speaker one of the things that of course happens is that we have voice commands that are possible well um, one of the demonstrations was uh, done using ultrasonic uh, or ultrasound sounds that you're not going to hear with your ears. So humans do not hear them. But they were able to actually take control of some of these devices. Why? Because while listening, these devices have a very high range of frequencies they can hear. And so they were showing that they can actually issue commands at a high frequency that the human ear does not hear. But the devices are responding to it because they are capable of hearing them. So I guess maybe it would be interesting to narrow down the frequency range. Once again, kind of scary when you think about it, of all the possibilities. And uh, this has to do with the fact that, you know, nothing's perfect. And uh, it's kind of difficult. And it's really to keep up to date and catch up. That's why updating is your number one security, because that's how you stay safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.